Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood. That means you're in for some exciting news. Let's get started. In a dramatic turn of events, Hollywood megastar Vin Diesel is set to face his former assistant Asta Jonasson in court. A Los Angeles Superior Court judge has ordered that a jury trial commence on August 18th, 2025, marking a significant moment in the bombshell lawsuit against the Fast and Furious actor. The lawsuit, which has captivated public attention, was filed by Jonasson against Diesel, his production company One Ray films and his sister Samantha Vincent, who serves as the president of One Race. Jonathan was hired in 2010 to work as Diesel's assistant during the production of Fast Five in Georgia. Jonathan claims that her job was to ensure Diesel left a room at the St. Regis Hotel without being photographed while he entertained a group of women. After the women departed, Jonathan alleges that Diesel forcibly groped her breast, kissed her without consent, and attempted to remove her underwear. She described being pinned against a wall and forced to touch his genitals, followed by Diesel stripping down to his underwear and pleasuring himself while she stood in shock. The former assistant asserts that her employment was terminated by Diesel's sister shortly after the incident. She believes her refusal to comply with Diesel's alleged sexual demands led to her dismissal. Jonathan stayed silent for years, fearing retribution from one of Hollywood's most powerful actors and the potential jeopardy to her green card status. The former assistant claims that shortly after the incident, Diesel's sister fired her from her job. She believes the reason for the firing was her refusal to submit to Diesel's alleged sexual demands. Jonathan remained silent for years, fearing retaliation from one of Hollywood's most powerful actors and a potential threat to her green card status. Jonathan decided to sue. The lawsuit states, Miss Jonathan is no longer willing to remain silent and seeks to regain her voice and justice for the suffering she has endured at the hands of Vin Diesel and One Race. Diesel's legal team vehemently denies the allegations. His lawyer stated, Vin Diesel vehemently denies the allegation in its entirety. This is the first time he has heard of this more than 13-year-old allegation from an alleged 9-day employee. There is clear evidence that completely refutes these ridiculous allegations. In his official response to the lawsuit, Diesel's attorney claims that Jonathan consented to the actions she now describes as assault. As for firing Jonathan, Diesel's team argues that all actions were taken in good faith for legitimate non-discriminatory purposes. As the trial date approaches, both sides are gearing up for what promises to be a high-stakes court battle. The case not only draws attention to Diesel's personal behavior, but also raises broader questions about the dynamics of power and responsibility in Hollywood. So there you have it dear friends, share this video and leave your comments, bye.